Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to talk about the Verbalese and Hasbin Hotel drama. And yes, I know I've made a video on this already, but some new information came out. But before I get to that, I want to debunk some things that I've said during my video and other stuff regarding this drama. First, Verbalese is not going bankrupt. If he was going bankrupt, it would be public knowledge, especially with a channel of his size. And there is also another theory, which I didn't cover in my last video, but I just thought I should bring it up. It was that he hired a 15 year old animator to animate that entire thing, and that he was grooming her as well or something. And I just want to say all of that is pretty much a lie. He never had contact with a 15 year old girl, and the video itself was made by a, um, animation studio, so Verbalace might be a little bit weird, but he's not a creep, okay? He was probably honest to god just down bad. Anyways, Verbalace finally decided to respond to the situation and explained his side of the story. Regarding the video, um, this actually was started in 2021 by a company called Cough or something, and it was finished in 2022. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. So when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel, marked the video as not made for kids. You have to be 18 or older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. I think the video was even unlisted. After it was up for a while, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because I still want to focus on the other stuff. So I deleted the video and deleted the channel. Um, little did I know, somebody saw the video and downloaded it and re-uploaded it and made it public on my birthday and decided to tag me in the video. But again, this video was intended for a mature audience and I wanted to just like put some different type of content out there separate from my YouTube channel. The videos out there, judge how you will, but I'm still gonna be making cartoon beatbox battles. Puppet beatbox battles, there's still gonna be Five Nights at Freddy's videos. Woo, Five Nights at Freddy's, let's go. Sorry about that, I was a little excited. Anyways, yeah, he explained that he paid an animation studio called Cough to make the video. It started in 2021, and it was intended for a more mature channel he was making. And some people don't really believe him on this, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Dude likes animations, he makes animations, right? He probably saw Hasbin Hotel, the pilot, and was thinking to himself, damn, this shit's kinda funny. I kinda wish I could make something like that. Oh, and that Charlie chick is kinda hot too. Hmm. So then he came up with the bright idea to make a more mature channel, and it would have bad words, sexual innuendos, and shit like that. And for the first video on the channel, he wanted it to be the inspiration for the channel, and his crush as well, Charlie Morningstar from Hasbin Hotel. And he decided to let his ideas and imagination for this video to run wild. A little too wild. There's some obvious personal decisions that were made in the production of this video, and after the video was made in 2022, and after watching it and having some post-nut clarity, Verbalace kind of realized that this isn't really something that he wants to be associated with, so he got rid of it. What I am wondering though, is what that second channel was called, right? Because he did say he made another channel for this video, and what I find interesting is that he said that he uploaded the video as an unlisted video, so the only people that could see it would be people that had the link to it. And Verbalace said that he deleted the channel and the video, and then proceeded to say that this video was uploaded on his birthday, which damn, that kind of sucks for him, I did not know that. You're just chilling on your birthday, then out of nowhere everyone's calling you down bad and a weirdo and shit. Like god damn, whoever uploaded that video must have hated this guy. Anyways, whoever did upload this video, it must have been someone that either verbally sent the link to, or maybe it was even someone in the animation studio that made the video itself. I don't know, and verbally probably doesn't really know either. What we do know is that this dude had it out for him, cause goddamn uploading the video already is like some classic op behavior, but doing it on his birthday? Goddamn, still can't get over that, like holy shit. Also, another thing to note, Verbalese never debunked that the video costed 
$50,000 to make. He didn't even bring up like any type of price or anything like that. So I'm still inclined to believe that the video is $50,000, especially since I'm starting to find out that animations cost a lot more than you would think. But still though, 50 grand for something like that, I don't know about that, man. But yeah, anyways, to sum it up, Verbalis is not a creep like that, but he is kind of weird. Most definitely down bad for Charlie Morningstar, but honestly, there's a lot more worse things to worry about, and I hope he bounces back stronger than ever from this, even if he is just a little bit weird. Alright, I think that's all I have to say. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Adios, and bye bye